Well, that certainly puts me in the mood for a glass of wine. And we love to go outside. Yeah. Silver. It's nice. It mm -hmm. is. Great wine, great day. Mm -hmm. But, you know, it has been kind of hot. Yeah, a little bit sticky, right? Mm -hmm. So we're looking at much more of that humidity moving in, but definitely a nice evening to be outside, to be sitting al fresco, you know, having dinner or just chatting up with your friends. Here's a live look outside with our Long Beach camera. Lots of sunshine. We're not looking at too much of that marine influence moving back. We could see just some patchy clouds returning for some of our beach communities, but as that high pressure system starts to move off to the east, it's going to create a little bit more of that shallow marine influence the next couple of days. Out the door right now, this is a live look with our downtown LA camera looking good. Still pretty toasty. 81 degrees right now for downtown with the winds pretty calm, but you can see the dew points normally hovering in the mid 50s. But now that it's up in the mid 60s, it definitely feels just a tad sticky for our liking here in the Southland. 84 out the door for Burbank right now. You can see we still have triple digits up in Lancaster and also for San Bernardino. We have upper 70s for Camarillo. We have some oranges still as you get a little bit farther inland. And then right along the coast, a little bit more of the yellow. So 71 for Oxnard, 72 for LAX. The breezes continue to linger with us. We're looking at a little bit more of those westerly winds starting to push in and those gustier conditions up in the high desert community. So this high pressure. Pressure system is shifting to the east, and that in turn will draw in some much more of that monsoonal moisture once we head into the next couple of days. And because it's going to be warm, and we do have that humidity moving back in, that also means slightly above average conditions. So today we hit closer to normal, but by the time we head into the next couple of days, we're going to start to see those temperatures inching a little bit more upward. We do have activity off to the east over the southwest, but there's that high. It's going to continue to move to the east and get closer to the western portion of Texas. So starting tomorrow, there's a chance that we could see those scattered showers and thunderstorms in the afternoons, mainly for the mountains and desert communities as that monsoon flow returns. And then as we head into the rest of the week, it looks like it will stick around just a little bit longer. All right, so here's a look at our highs for tomorrow. We're looking at highs a little bit closer to the mid-90s for areas like Northridge and San Fernando. 93 for Santa Clarita, 78 for Manhattan Beach, 85 for downtown LA, and then 90s for Pasadena. 88 for La Puente, 88 for Anaheim. Remember, even though temperatures may be just a tad cooler than what we're dealing with today with some of that humidity, it's definitely going to feel a lot warmer. 95 for the city of Paris, 97 for Lake Elsinore, and then here's a look at the next seven days. Temperatures will be mainly in the 70s, 80s, and 90s, so not a lot of change tomorrow compared to today. But we're starting to see much more of the humidity creeping in as we head into Tuesday and Wednesday. And it's not until the end of the week we start to feel a little bit back to normal as some of that drier air starts to move in. But afternoon thunderstorms and showers can't be ruled out, especially over the higher elevations starting tomorrow, stretching all the way till about Wednesday. Back to you.